This is, this is what happens when you exceed Mach 3. So at Mach 3.5, uh, you get a little bit of delamination of your fiberglass. But uh, full recovery, we had, a little, um, we had a little anomaly with the booster motor. So we lost some thrust with it. So we, we only got 76,000 feet with full recovery. Um, but I'll take it. Next year, I'll break into the six digits. So you didn't make 100,000? Nope. So you owe me a beer. Yeah, or a mimosa. There you go. But full recovery, you know, that uh, works good for me. Yeah, but it took you, what, a day or two to find it? Uh, we found it the next day, actually. My father was helping me search, and he was out on the quad, and he spotted it. He saw it on the ground. It was about two miles from the last GPS telemetry report. So we found it just off the edge of the playa, and um, it was just waiting for us to come get it. About how far from where the booster was at, you know? We don't know, because the, the booster was brought in by uh, somebody, and they dropped it off at the RSO table. So we're not quite sure exactly where it was. They said it was that way, <laughs> but that's not very technical. So, but it was, they were in the general, same general direction. Uh, this year, all the rockets seem to be going off to the uh, northeast side of the playa instead of the northwest side. So my, my, my remote data logger was on the northwest side, 10 miles from the uh, launch site. And it picked up packets all the way in. So I just have to put two of them out next time. Next year, we'll have to put two out. So far, we found out this isn't as easy as it seems, is it? I knew it wasn't easy. I was, I've been working on this project for two years, and it all seems to come down to the last couple of months to get everything, everything ready and everything going. So I'm happy I got it back, and I'll just fly it again next year. All right. Well, good luck. Thank you.